The Design Museum's Design Awards are hosted every year and they are very much like the Oscars in the design world. Today we're lucky to talk to one of the nominees in the transport category, Gordon Murray. There is much talk about the use of cars in the city. It initiates discussions on climate change and carbon footprints. Gas guzzling petrol cars are now seeing new innovative designs which can be run on electric at extra low costs. British engineer Gordon Murray has designed and built an electric vehicle which has raised a lot of interest at the Design Awards. And that little puppy is the T27. I think what makes the T27 special enough to be, to be nominated for the Design Awards is the fact that it's at the moment the world's most efficient electric vehicle, electric car. So it's, um, uh, we proved that in the RAC Future Car Challenge last November when we won the event overall. The RAC Challenge has seen the T27 travel from London to Brighton on a miss 64 pence. This achievement is the result of Murray's need to redesign a car that is smaller, lighter, cleaner and cheaper to maintain. Yeah, I think most governments who are trying to introduce low carbon vehicles of all sorts are offering incentives. The problem with those are they're pretty short lived. As soon as we have uh, a big enough take up of electric vehicles for example, those incentives will stop. What we rarely need is more lightweight vehicles like T27. One of the huge advantages of T27 is that because it's half the weight of a conventional vehicle, the battery size is half the weight and therefore half the cost. The vehicle was designed to be smaller than a smart car, but has room for three people. Weighing 680 kilos, the 660cc three-cylinder engine is incredibly economical and saves a bundle in road tax and insurance. So why haven't people jumped onto the bandwagon? I think, I think two of the major obstacles to people buying electric vehicles at the moment, one is a cultural change and it is quite a different vehicle to drive, but people will overcome that quite um, quickly I think. The second one is much more important and that's cost. The current cost of lithium ion batteries, which is our current technology, is about 50% of the retail price of the car. So what would have been a £10,000 car is now a £20,000 car. And that's a big obstacle for most people to get over. Gordon Murray has packed decades of sports car engineering into the T27. Well, in my career, I've spent 20 years in Formula One and then in a further 15 years designing high-performance sports cars. And um, I'm always looking for a new challenge. Uh, the reason I switched from Formula One to sports cars was I needed a new challenge. And uh, having done enough sports cars, I really thought it was about time that somebody took Formula One philosophy and technology and made it available to the everyday motorists. So this is probably the biggest challenge I've had so far. Their ice cream manufacturing process is revolutionary, using composite plastic to build a chassis, making the vehicle lighter and more durable. The real reason why the car is efficient is the manufacturing system, which we've trademarked um, iStream. And it's a completely different think on how we've made cars for the last hundred years. We've stamped cars out of steel, which is heavy and energy intensive for about a hundred years. And this car uses Formula One technology, but for very low cost, to produce a lightweight, strong structure. The Design Award Ceremony is on April 24th. This is Hu Chali for Greenstream TV.